Hi, my name is Mia. This is our little boy Leaf. <laughs> and welcome back or welcome for the first time to my YouTube channel. As you can already tell by the title of this video, today is going to be about how we managed to potty train this little man in just two days. <laughs> It's honestly still mind-blowing to me that I'm able to make this video in the first place. I really thought potty training was gonna be this like really long, hard ordeal. But we have ourselves a really good boy, <laughs> a really smart boy, and he learned really, really quickly. And I just figured I'd make a video about the things that we did to kind of get him to this point because even though he's very smart, he definitely didn't get here all by himself. So yeah, I figured I'd share our journey so far with him. I'll tell you all the things that we did, all the things that helped, all the things that didn't. And yeah, without further ado, let me start <laughs> by telling you just a little recap of the first few days with this little guy. The first day he was still super shy, super timid, still getting used to us and his new space, our home. He was still very much reserved. He didn't really know what to do around the house. He didn't really eat or drink much at all, I guess because he was so nervous. And then um, we tried to take him out about every two hours, just to kind of like give him the chance to go potty. But like I said, he didn't really eat or drink much that first day, so he really didn't have to potty. And he also didn't understand that going outside meant to go potty, of course. How would he know? He's never done it before. So after a few hours of trying that, about half a day back and forth, we kind of gave up on it. And we started a new approach, which was to just kind of watch him like a hawk, <laughs> basically and um, just make sure that every time he did start peeing we would pick him up right away and carry him outside yeah that way he just learns that whenever he does go potty it has to be outside and that worked pretty well obviously there were accidents in the house on the first day we had about four accidents like i said we did wait until he started peeing to take him outside so obviously there was some some pee in the house but yeah, that was kind of our only option because he doesn't really whine or bark or make himself known if he has to pee or, or poop. And he also didn't act any differently. Like he would just sit in his favorite spot under our table and um, just start peeing. <laughs> um, no weird movements, no weird behaviors at all. So yeah, we just kind of resulted to taking him whenever he did start to pee. At this point we really thought this was going to take forever getting him used to it. Obviously we had to sleep so at night we couldn't really watch him so we went back to the two to three hours of taking him outside. Again didn't really work so this little man uh, just pooped and peed in the room. Yeah obviously because we were asleep we didn't notice he didn't make a sound and yeah we woke up to, <laughs> to a little surprise from this guy then the next day we were able to kind of start him on a little bit of a feeding schedule the first day like i said he was just getting used to us and he didn't really eat at all so we just left his food out throughout the whole day, so he has the chance to eat whenever he wants. On the second day, we um, implemented meal times, so um, we came up with our schedule of when we're gonna feed him breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then, about like 20 to 25 minutes after he ate or drank anything, we just took him outside, because that's, yeah, when he had to Go. and that worked perfectly he pretty much went right away most of the time sometimes he he took a little bit because he was still kind of nervous about the new environment whenever we took him outside he was kind of he was still kind of scared a little bit so we just took our time tried to get him to relax and that's when he usually went to potty which was amazing 
Um, the second day we only had one little accident, just half an accident again, then we took him outside. So he pretty much caught on to that and then we, other than meal times, we just stuck to the two to three hour schedule, which has been working great. And uh, then we just made sure to not spend more than like 15 minutes outside with him. So yeah, if he actually does not have to go potty, then we'll just take him back inside. And that was great. Then uh, for the second night, we got his crate. And if you saw my puppy haul video, then you know that we were still missing a few items, um, the crate being one of them. And yeah, it got here just in time for the second night of sleep. And the crate was an absolute game changer, let me tell you. <laughs> he was such a good boy in the crate. He was super calm, super chill. He didn't whine or bark or complain at all. He made himself comfortable in a home. And then, of course, he didn't want to pee in his bed and in his crate, so he waited. He waited for us to take him out. Again, every two to three hours, we woke up um, to take him outside, and he went to go potty outside. And that was a huge um, difference from the first night, because on the first night, we just kind of had his bed in the room, so he just walked off and went potty in a different part of the room, but obviously in the crate. He had nowhere to go, so he had to wait. And yeah, pretty much overnight, like magic, this little guy was potty trained. Because ever since his crate, he has not gone potty inside the house at all. We've just continued his meal times, continued the two to three hour roll, and he knows exactly what to do now. <laughs> yeah, I know we're super blessed with having such a smart and good boy. I'm sure other dogs are a little bit harder to potty train. Um, so I'm not claiming that this is like a miracle cure to potty training your dog. But it worked for us and hopefully it works for you too. I hope um, that this video gave you some good inspiration, some good tips on how to potty train your little guy. If it helped at all, then make sure to leave me a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And so you can see this little man growing. All right. <laughs> I appreciate you hanging around till the end. Um, I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.